feet. Um, last time you guys saw one of these was a macro I made. This one is uh, someone else that made this on the internet that I've been talking to for a little bit. And uh, it's pretty far, so this one's going to be a little bit different um, from my last video. But let me start off by saying it's going to be on GitHub. I'm going to have the link below so you guys don't have to type it in. And then uh, you're going to want to go down and click on the download. Of course, use the key that he gives you in here initially. So there's a key up here. Use this just so you guys don't see. So you can use the free features. You don't have to pay for it. But if you do pay, you'll get everything that I have on here. Um, this is 100% legit, guys. Don't be scared of this. Please use it. It's uh, The guy is good. He's going to make it even better. Um, there's a lot of recommendations that I've sent him and that he knows about that's going to be worked on in the future. But we'll go back to this city, um, just so you can see what's not done and what is done. So basically, once you find your SID, your key, and I'm not going to show you how to do that right now. Maybe I'll make another video if you guys actually like this and if you guys want to use the tool. But basically, you open it up and you don't want to be too quick because the game will sense it. So if you're doing every five minutes in five minute intervals exactly, the game's going to be able to tell. Um, the flood message, there is a warning here. If you do the flood, it will probably get you banned. So just don't do it. Um, what this is doing is it's using your browser session to go ahead and pretty much do everything for you. So he, he's programmed it in there so it grabs everything out of your browser and it works from there. I'm not going to show you how uh, how to do it because he puts a pretty good detail here on how to sign in. I'm not going to go through all that and blur out my entire screen for you guys, but you can go through here and follow his tutorial, put it in, and then you get to the screen that I'm at. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this once so you guys can see what it looks like when it successfully ran and what it looks like. So once you once you run it and until it's over, you can't refresh your page. Um, so let's run it and let's see what happens. You can see on the right, it's interacting with everything on here. Of course, this is not my main account. I would not be showing you guys my main account, but this is one of my other ones. So it's collecting, it's doing everything like that. Now what it's going to do is take all the buildings in the background and it's going to do all the actions that I set. So if you see that my buildings that do like the um, materials and stuff, it's going to set them to loop every five minutes, but it's not going to be able to do it every five minutes. It's going to be able to do it every 10 because of how often you don't want the game to see what you're doing. Um, they do have protections in for people like this, but you can see it's doing the pull vating now too, which means it's, I mean, pretty much if you're on a PC, you can do it anyways. You just click down here, but it's just only going to do one section. So it's going to do my neighbors, or I think it's my friends. It's one of the other. Um, yeah, I think it's one of those. So it's going to do my friends or my neighbors, one of the other. I'll see when I refresh it here in a second. But it's collecting all the hidden rewards. It's going to do everything for you pretty much. Um, once it's done, it'll keep this going for as long as you can go. Now the timer's counting down. Uh, but you can see what goods it collected and then it did everything else for you. So this is real. Um, everything here is real. Let's refresh this session so you guys can actually see what's been done to this page. Sometimes going here and going back will actually show you an updated version. And there you go. That's been all done. Some of the other stuff hasn't been collected yet, which it might be if I refresh the page. Cool. Yep, it's all been collected. Um, so it's just sometimes the, the page does not keep up. Now in the background, this is still going. So after it's done, um, counting down, which we'll come back to here in a second, it's just going to requeue everything back up. Um, but it's another thing to talk about with this is too, you can go through every single subcategory that's out here. You can see what it's like, where it's eventual, what it does. Um, they also have a city map. Um, it's pretty useful to some people, not to me. Um, people who are very good about stacking and seeing what goes where, and what it's worth and all that kind of stuff. He has a really good map on that. Um, there's some people online who do better about talking about mapping and all that kind of stuff. I'm not good at doing maps. My, my main city is pretty cluster fucked. But as you're going through here, you can see they have the map, the manager city. This is only available if you actually pay for it, I believe. Um, I think most of the stuff here is um, free, except I think collecting the hidden rewards. And um, there was like two things that remain, but he is working on some of the other stuff. So in the background, what I've asked him to work on is collecting your castle points. So instead of us having to do that, he's going to put it in here to where you can collect your castle points. 
And um, I asked him also to go to the harbor city and do the harbors so you don't have to worry about anything in here anymore and collect it all at once. Um, so he's going to be through here doing this, hopefully, in the coming months. If you guys can go on there and show him some support and show him that you guys actually want it, I'm sure it'll be done faster. Because um, as of right now, there's just a couple of us in the in the GitHub thread. And, um, you know, time is money, money is time, and he's doing this as of right now, almost free because no one's really using it. Um, which is kind of why I'm making a video. You can see how, how it pulvated everyone in my neighborhood. Didn't do my friends and stuff like that, so I can just do it myself by clicking real quick stuff on the computer. A few of my stuff got hit here by attackers. So let's clear them. Once it comes back and does everything else it needs to do, it'll take these back up. I'm just going to put them here. I'm going to blur all those names so you guys don't have to see them all and see where I'm at. But... Yeah, let's go through here and see how much longer we've got. And we'll come back here. I'm going to cut the video until it's done and it should be done. But as we see, it's almost done. So once it's done, we'll have to watch this and see what's happening. You can see how you're collected. So it'll do it automatically for you. There's nothing you need to do once you started it. It's all these your intervals different. I was playing with them to see. It's going through. It's collecting everything. And then it's going to start doing everything else. Just want to show you what's below. It's doing it all automatically. Watch it count down for a few. And then it just goes right to the same loop. So guys, if you have an alt account or anything else that you want to level, this tool would be amazing if you're in a new city or anything like that, or a new town on a new server. Um, as long as you set it to do it slow, I don't think it'll be anything to worry about. Um, if you're doing it quick like this, like I have it set quick to zero minutes, it's going to get you caught. Something They're going to notice something. Um, so move it up. Keep it about 10 minutes. It's usually what I keep it at just to make sure it's safe and sound. But as you'll see over here, it gives you all your stats. And it tells you what you've collected, what you've not collected. Um, it says negative 10 forge points. I spent them. But yeah, so this tool works great. It doesn't steal your password. It doesn't steal any of your information because you're not giving it any information. All you're doing is giving your browser a session. So if you look in here as I refresh, these are all unactioned before. And let's refresh it now that I stopped the tool. And everything has been done. So the tool is really good, guys. Um, it's hard to kind of tell just by looking at GitHub if it's going to be good or not or if it's real or not. But you're not putting any information in here, like your password or anything like that. You're just literally going through your session browser cookies and putting in your stuff in here. It basically uses your entire session in here. So once your session's over, you can log out, you can do whatever else, and then um, no one's going to be able to use that. So even if this guy is harvesting your stuff or if he's trying to, he's not going to get anything from you because he's not actually getting any passwords. So I'd say go ahead and give him a follow, um, download it, pay for it. I mean, uh, Share it with your friends, everything else too. This guy's worth it. He's the real deal. He's going to make this even better for us as we go through it. So sign up with him, get the tool, and let me know what you guys have any thoughts about it. If you want me to do a tutorial on how to set it up and how to run it, um, I can do that. There's going to be a lot, of, a lot more blurring than what I have to do for this current video, but I can show you guys exactly how to do it and everything else. So yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do that, and I'll go ahead and do it. So thanks, guys.